good morning students so in the earlier class uh, we were discussing in the last class we, we we are discussing about segmentation of the market so segmentation is dividing the entire market dividing the heterogeneous market into smaller units so that we can target our customer precisely and we can uh, position our product uh, at the utmost care and with the success rate increased success rate so in the last class we have discussed different type of segmentation among that one is geographic segmentation so geographic segmentation is nothing but dividing the heterogeneous market or entire entire market into smaller units on the basis of geographical feature geographical feature in the sense density of the population and the temperature etc etc so this geographic segmentation is asked for five marks in your previous sem exam question papers and the definition of geographic segmentation is asked for two marks they may ask what do you mean by geographic segmentation and what are its advantages for five marks or write a short note on geographic segmentation for again five marks so this presentation you need to make a note of it for the better reading purpose so in today's class we are going to discuss about what is geographic segmentation is and we will discuss few examples for geographic segmentation how geographic segmentation is helpful and we will discuss geographic segmentation's advantages also now for two marks meaning or definition is for the better understanding purpose i have written two sentences here but it's very easy to remember it is dividing the heterogeneous market on the basis of geographical feature of on the basis of geographical feature like population population density and food habits clothing habits languages traditions and many other traits many other traits in the sense many other features is known as geographic segmentation so precisely people in different parts of the world display different characteristics so these characteristics are influenced by all the surrounding forces or surrounding traits so a marketing strategy is created by dividing the target market dividing the entire market into segments on the basis of those factors such as economic condition of those region food habits clothing habits languages traditions and many other traits is known as geographic segmentation so easy to remember is frame the uh, easy sentences like geographic segmentation can be defined as defined dividing the entire market on the basis of geographical conditions like languages population density languages traditions etc is known as geographic segmentation so very easy to define so for the better understanding purpose i have given two examples here so people living in colder continents where the temperature is quite low compared to other region so colder countries such as europe are interested or they have to wear warm clothing they have to have heating devices in their vehicles as well as their residence etc almost throughout the year because they are living in cold countries so whereas people living in hotter continents such as australia and uae united arab emirates are interested in air coolers beach vacations breezy outfit outfits and cold drinks so this is how we divide the market and if you are going to uh, manufacture air conditioners air coolers then we have to enter these hotter region like australia and uae so another example how geographic segmentation helps in other agencies like government so <coughs> excuse me if a government intends uh, to conduct a survey on usage of plastic bags so that it can minimize 
the pla using of plastic so it can minimize the garbage containing plastic so for better uh, reason or, or to conduct such type of survey it geographically divides the entire region the goal is to conduct a use of plastic bag survey and based on actionable insight after conducting this survey on geographical spread of the use of plastic bags the government can reinforce administrative supervision to reduce use of plastics and add new plastic recycling plants in areas such areas so this is the uh, this is how geographical segmentation is used by the government agencies now if we talk about advantages of geographic segmentation for five marks is i have framed very easy sentences here it enhances focus due to targeting so geographic segmentation is an effective method to improve focus on ta target audience because you already divided the heterogeneous market you have, you have already divided the entire huge market into smaller units on the basis of geographical feature so as a division based on geographical characteristics is involved you can target your customer precisely and you can focus your customers needs and wants so if since all these geographical characteristics are involved organizations tend to create more focused marketing strategies to convert local consumers into successful consumers by right? successful customers so it always helps to enhance the targeting of customers and if you divide the heterogeneous market if you divide the huge market into smaller units on the basis of geographical feature you can see the immediate growth of your organization by your increased sales volume so in a situations where an organization has marketing strategy for a particular location it becomes additionally convenient for this organization to apply the same strategy to neighboring locations because you have already targeted that region and you have identified their tradition you have identified their lifestyle if you find the same type of characteristics same type of lifestyle same type of living standard in some other region you can target that region also without without any hassle right so that's what i have made these few lines i have framed these two sentences so you already divided and expanding marketing operations and developing corresponding strategies corresponding strategies in the sense you have to communicate to your consumers you have to educate your consumers on these findings so corresponding strategies for locations with unknown characteristics is much it it is much more time consuming then expanding to locations that indicate traits or features similar to the existent target market you already identified these traits so you you no need to spend time and you no need to spend money to identify these personality traits of a people or lifestyle of a people so it minimizes the cost and you will see the instant growth market growth so improved communication since target customers are identified on the basis of geographical features you can communicate you can educate your consumers on your product very well without any hassle with with very ease so as targeting is based on geography and the traits that change with a change in ge geographies geographies marketing and promotional communications for local audience need to be according to the specialized nature of this geographical segment so better communication happens when there is a clarity in regards to what the audience expects from your goods or from your services so you already know who are your customers are and how they live what are their lifestyle which language this they speak so after identifying all these traits you can improve your communication you can educate your customer very well and with the minimized promotional cost ultimately the goal is to earn more profit by increasing sales volume so how do we increase the sales volume by identifying our consumer base on 
geographical feature. So, with the help of increased sales volume, our profit will be increased again. So, geographical segmentation gives an organization an essential early competitive edge in localized market. So, increases brand well, brand recall value and also helps in providing better customer service, which in turn leads to better customer retention rates. So, you can create loyal customers because you have identified their lifestyle. You have identified their tradition. You have identified their language. So, you can retain your existing customer. You can create brand loyalty among them with the help of geographical segmentation. So, at the last, it creates brand loyalty among targeted customers. For example, if we see in our area itself, it is quite heavy rainfalling area. So, we can see it's not Z-E-A-L, it's Z-E-E-L, sorry for spelling mistake. So, Zeal branded, you have seen Zeal branded raincoats and Wolf branded um umbrellas which have established greater market portion in our area, right? So, these two companies, Z-E-E-L, Zeal branded raincoats and Wolf branded umbrellas are sold in numerous number in our area which is which comes under heavy rainfall, heavy rainfall region, right? So, this once these Zeal branded raincoats and Wolf branded umbrellas are used and they create loyalty among existing customers. So, this is how you need to explain. You can frame your own sentences on these points in your SEM exam. So, the question we have discussed today is what is geographical segmentation is and how do we uh, target our customers precisely or how do we focus our customer with the help of geographical segmentation. So, with the help in the sense all the advantages of geographical segments. So, thank you.